what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh gonna be working on 240 again uh last time i worked on it it wasn't i just changed spark plugs and uh the problem stopped but now uh, it only took about an hour for the problem to stop and now it's starting again so from the last time i fixed my car uh, it worked for about an hour and that was it and then it pretty much started doing it again so instead of trying to spend money into the car putting more time into stuff that i buy that's not going to fix it i'm just going to go ahead and today we're going to be doing a compression test so i went out and bought the kit so that way we can do the compression test on the car to just see what just see what my numbers are because i don't want to be blowing any more money into my engine than I have to. So, kind of, kind of good thing, kind of bad thing. Because if it's a good thing, then I get to do a turbo, and I know my car can handle a turbo. If it's a bad thing where my compression is really bad, then I mean more content. Uh, I'm gonna do an engine swap. I don't know what engine swap yet, but I'll do an engine swap, and then just film all that process and doing all that. So it gives me more content. But either way, I got content. So. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting on Tony. He's supposed to show up here in a minute. Give me a hand on the uh, on the car because it just takes two people uh, better than doing it by yourself. I mean, you could do it by yourself, but I don't know, it's my first time doing a compression test. So these damn little bugs, man, they're like everywhere. Little black bugs. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get the car prepped. Pretty much taking off the strut bar, taking off all the the wires taking the spark plugs out and then i think that's pretty oh and i gotta disconnect the fuel pump uh fuse the, the fuel fuse so gotta disconnect that and then it's pretty much ready to go so let's go ahead and uh so i just got the basic harbor freight one pretty pretty simple I looked online on the forums and stuff and they said anywhere between 150 and 180 is good it's normal uh, anything over 180 is perfect anything under 150 is bad so that's what they recommended and then just basic fittings the hose and then you just pretty much silk self-explanatory but always read the instructions before you mess with anything uh this video isn't like a how-to or anything like that i mean you go to youtube there's plenty of videos out there for that i'm just filming for my personal sake and for the channel and stuff so yeah oh uh one more thing went ahead and got a tripod for the channel so we can go ahead and get cool cool uh tripod shot so i don't have to be holding the camera all the time i could just put on the tripod and go from there so i'll be using that today so see how that goes but yeah uh let's go ahead and get the car all disassembled and good to go i'll put you in time lapse real quick so okay so this is the way the car is running and uh, this is why I'm doing compression tests because before I try to go and diagnose anything what's wrong with it I just need to make sure if it's a healthy motor or not so this is the way it's handled. Sounds healthy, but it's really like rough. Like, you see, the, see how it keeps doing that? It's like wanting to die. Blowing out all the smoke. That's why I'm doing a compression test. Well, 
I'm letting the engine warm up to operating temperatures before I go in and unplug the uh, spark plug wires and do the compression test. So Tony's still not here, so hopefully he can show up. If not, it's cool. I'll try to do it by myself or have my wife do it with me. But we'll see. I know we got an appointment at two, so I got to get to that. But yeah, this is what she's doing. You going to store? Where are they at? Okay, yeah, I'll watch them. Go see the kiddos. Lila! Lila! What are y'all doing? Go ahead to the vlog, Lila. Where's your other caller at? Where's your flea collar? And I got ISR motor mounts and they're polyurethane. So it's not supposed to shake the engine, but it does shake. Yep, it still shakes. Sucks. I have not driven this car like in weeks because of this problem like it runs but it just runs really rough and I don't want to take a chance and you know gets stranded somewhere putting more stress on the engine if it isn't you know a bad engine I don't want to put no more stress on it make it a bad engine so uh, this warm up and then I'll get to the compression test so see you in a minute What's up guys, back. Uh, no one's been able to help me today, so I'm just doing it on my own. I saw a bunch of videos, guys doing it on their own. It's just no big deal. So uh, I've already did the first two, uh, which are pretty, pretty bad. So the first one is gonna be 135. Second one was 90. So that's pretty bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and do number three and then go from there so number three better 135 again so, I'm gonna redo cylinder two because I don't think I did it right because I don't think I cranked it right I don't know but yeah so that's cylinder sorry guys sorry that's cylinder three at 135 uh, so Go ahead and do the next one. Right, I'm, I'm gonna redo cylinder two because like I said, I don't think I did it right. That other one was better. 
this. Cylinder two again. So 120 now. Yeah, the first time it did not do that, so I don't know, it sounded weird. So 135, 120, 135, now the number four. I keep hitting you guys. Go, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, cool. Let's do the now the number four. I gotta repaint this valve cover, man. It's all chipping and everything. I'll do that another day, though. Yeah, I watched about, like, six videos, but... Doing it on your own is a different story. So, this is number test. This is cylinder four, so let's do cylinder four. This is going to be 135, so 135. So I don't know if you can see here, but pretty much what the forms were saying if it's if it, anything lower than 151 is bad anything higher than 179 is good anything in between is pretty much golden in between 151 and 179 everything's good after that mine are 135 120 on the second test 135 and 135 so i don't know maybe you guys can comment down below see if this is good numbers like i said i got this from the nissan forums but that was like back in 2002 is whenever i saw that that feed but i don't know so 135 120 135 135 so kind of up in the air i'm gonna go do some more research on that and uh so I'll do some more research on that and then go from there, see how, see if that's bad, if it's good, or what. But we'll go from there. So uh, they put everything back together. Like I said, the car runs, it just runs really rough. And I wanted to do a compression test to see if even I have a good engine to even try to fix. Cause like I said, I keep fixing this car and he's breaking on me. Uh, so I just want to see if I'm working with a good engine or I'm working with a bad engine. So right now, I think I'm working with a bad engine, but I gotta do some more research on those numbers and then go from there. Cause like I said, I might think it's bad numbers, but other people might say it's good. Just go ahead and leave it alone, fix it and throw a turbo. So, but yeah, so catch you back guys up here in a minute. Uh, pretty weird vlog today, I guess. But yeah, never did a compression test. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm not sure. I just read the instructions, watched a bunch of videos. I did exactly what they did. And I mean, it came out what it came out. So, uh, 
let me go ahead and sit you guys down and uh, put everything back together and then uh i mean just throwing spark plugs back in there but that's it so and then i'll turn her on hopefully everything's good like i said cylinder two sounded really weird like if it was popping so like everything else sounded normal except for cylinder two cylinder two that's the one that was sounding really weird uh but hmm, maybe just me but yeah so i'll figure it out oh start picking the ball track over there in the corner too need over there but give me a worm off it hold your worm okay, hold it. your worm's gonna die dude because he's out in the elements he has to be in the ground in the dirt but don't let him die i'm not go put put the tire move, move the tire move us ron's gonna show his strength mm. come on what all right Uh oh, don't let it fall, don't let it fall. I got this. I got this, guys. I got this. I'm saving the world right now. Just I'm... drop it, just drop it. Right there. Watch Wait. out, Rosie. Right there, just drop it. No, 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 other way, other way, other way. That way, there you go. Yay. This is my shrink. This is my shrink. Here's your shrink. Hey, we should dig a hole for your, uh, what? for your worm. Because uh, your worm's gonna die. It's letting know right now. Okay, what do you see? Daddy, look, I found something. What do you find? A little thing. Just... A little bug? Yeah, it's half his eyes. There's bugs everywhere, huh? I had to stop working on the car because we're about to leave to an appointment for the kids. So, yeah. I just cleaned up a little bit. And then just hanging out with them. Y'all hungry? Yeah. Hungry? Mm -hmm. Mama told me to feed you guys. So. And Daddy doesn't know how to cook. Oh, well, I just can get. I don't, but you get your cereal. <laughs> or peanut butter jelly. Or peanut butter jelly. You can make two things: this cereal or peanut butter jelly, right? Yeah, I gotta move those back, but in a minute. Show my little work area. Okay. Hopefully this door's open. And it's all bad. Rosie, come on. Come on, Rose. Woohoo! Use my nose. Wow. Hi, Daddy. Hi, baby. Daddy? Huh? Daddy? Yeah, I got light already. And another thing too, like, I don't know if that's bad or not, but I literally, these, are, these were brand new when I put them in on the last video, and look how black they are. Like that's, I don't know if that's, and they weren't as black as the ones I pulled out. Like the ones I pulled out weren't, weren't never this black. But I could be mistaken, I gotta watch that video again, because I don't know what happened to the other ones. So, put it back in. Huh?
hair's all messed up. All right, guys. Well, put everything back together. Uh, pretty much, pretty much it. So, put everything back together. It's getting dark, and my light is not that bright. And my shop light is at my mom's house, so Tony was using it. So I gotta, yeah, pretty much done. Put everything up, and then I will pretty much just find out about those numbers to see if they're good or not. And uh, if they are good, then we're good, turbo. If they're not good, then engine swap. And I'm gonna start getting ready to pull the motor. God damn, my hair's on this stuff. This is why I wear a hat, guys. Uh, yeah, and then I'll get ready to pull the motor and uh, start engine bay painting content, you know, content on days. So, uh, other than that, gotta go to movie night tonight so uh it's all cool the guys couldn't help me out but it's all good uh so pretty much done here tripod came in handy thank goodness so that was awesome kind of long one i know it's all right it's cool but uh yeah stay tuned uh stay on my ig i'll link it right here uh the white wolf crew ig i'll keep posted on the what's going on with the 240 and whatever whatever else is going on with the other guys cars i do want to film armando's evo he is putting in the engine and i kind of want to film that and get that process video done that'll be super cool because that guy's pushing pushing horsepower on that on that build so uh kind of want to talk to him about it see if he wants to be on the camera i don't know <laughs> he wasn't on the camera on the on the meat one but you know just like probably just him and the car and everything like that and just do like a cinematic of him putting the engine in and everything i would be pretty cool and then like do like a feature of his car like right after that oh that'd be awesome but gotta talk to him see what he wants to do about with that but yeah so there's a lot of stuff coming a lot a lot of stuff coming got, hopefully got a new drop coming out uh still in the works on that but yeah stay tuned hope you guys like the kind of the content today kind of just there's two ways i can go about this either with my engine that's why i want to do compression tests because i'm tired of spending money on shit that i need or shit that i don't need for the engine and then it's a bad engine so uh gotta think smart with kids so other than that yeah we're good to go so i'll catch you guys in the next one